Karen and Brian, you are based at the University of Oslo, uh, where you look at how beliefs and value systems influence the way we deal with climate change. Now, you characterize this as a relationship problem. Can you elaborate on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, all systems are relationships, and I think that's one of the things we're really trying to study with climate change. What's the relationship between clouds and rainfall and waves and erosion? And when you put people into that system, you start to get the um, like human dimensions and the subjective dimensions. So you have perceptions, you have expectations, you have interpretations, mm -hmm. and suddenly it becomes a relationship issue where you know it's about how we perceive our relationship with the environment, where we're drawing the line between us and the others, how we're thinking about our relationship with future generations. And we have some relationship problems there when it comes to climate change. And I think addressing those human dimensions and relationship problems um, in in our, our, our relationship with the entire climate change mm. issue is really the key to mm. addressing climate change. And you, you argue that we're actually trying to solve the wrong problems connected to climate change. Um, so what are the wrong problems and what, what problems should be solved yeah. instead and deal mm -hmm. with instead? Well you can make a distinction between two different types of problems. One of them are, is like technical problems which are things that can be solved with expertise and know-how and innovation mm. and things that we're, we're pretty good at those. And um, another type of problem is called an adaptive challenge and that's really about the mindsets with which mm. we approach the um, the. Um, problem and so it is about the values and the beliefs and the worldviews and how we're seeing the system and often you know it's about the habits interests and loyalties and it's the things that we're not as good at going back to the relationship problem it's the things that um, that really challenge us and make us uncomfortable and make us not want to deal with it so although all adaptive challenges have technical elements to them if we ignore the, the adaptive elements then we usually fail mm. How does these adaptive challenges connect to, to let's say, risks? Mm -hmm. How does that fall into place? Mm -hmm. Well, it's really about what, what we perceive as a risk and how we approach the risk. Sometimes we approach the risk as it's something out there mm -hmm. that we can fix and do as if through technical means, that we just need to have you know, better irrigation systems, mm -hmm. higher bridges, or, or things like that. But if we approach it as the adaptive challenge, we start to look at the social dimensions and we start to think like wow a lot of risk is socially um, is from our social systems it's our you know it's our access to the early warning systems it's our access to insurance and to land to health and and all of these things and, and it's also our you know who decides on these things whose values count when we're approaching risk in a certain way mm. or another way so when I think about risk as an adaptive challenge I think that that we really need to um, you know switch and look at the real you know how we are creating the risks as much mm. as responding to them final question the relationship between technology and humans mm -hmm. classic question difficult question nonetheless mm -hmm. how would you characterize it in a transformation process like mm -hmm. this yeah situation yeah no I think I the way I see it is that um, we are the ones, humans are the ones that um, make the technologies, we're the ones that use the technologies. We are so engaged with the technologies that they're really important, but we also are the ones that then have the responsibility to reflect on the technologies mm -hmm. and to really think about, like, what does this mean? How does, you know, does it affect other people and other groups and future generations? And, and in some ways, I where I am um, more cautious is that sometimes we think that technology will save the day mm -hmm. and that the rest of us, you know, we can ignore ourselves and, and everything. And that I think is very dangerous. So if we don't recognize the real problems underlying technology, because that's the, that's the easy part. Mm -hmm.